In this video, we'll explain how to obtain the observed altitude using the apparent altitude covered in our previous video. First, we need to obtain our altitude correction on the site reduction form. This correction is due to the way light bends as it passes through our atmosphere. The closer a celestial body gets to the horizon, the more pronounced this effect becomes. To obtain our altitude correction, go to the Nautical Almanac and open the book to the front cover. The left two columns list altitude corrections for the Sun, stars, and planets. Find your apparent altitude and note the correction in arc minutes for altitude correction. In our example, we had the Sun at an apparent altitude of 26 degrees and 13.9 arc minutes. We see in our table that this gives two values, one for the lower limb and one for the upper limb. When using a sextant on the Sun or Moon, you either place the top or bottom of the celestial body on the horizon. The bottom is called the lower limb, while the top is called the upper limb. Let's assume that we measured the lower limb. So, we note that we add 14.3 arc minutes for our altitude correction. There are additional corrections for the Moon, some of the planets, atmospheric conditions, and so forth. All of these additional corrections are beyond the scope of this class and will be covered in the supplemental. All such corrections would be tallied, then listed as additional corrections. In our example, there are no additional corrections to be considered, so we note NA for not applicable for each of our additional corrections. To obtain our observed altitude, we simply add all our corrections to our apparent altitude in arc minutes, remembering to instead subtract if we have a negative correction. In our example, we add 14.3 arc minutes for our altitude correction to our apparent altitude of 26 degrees and 13.9 arc minutes, which gives us a total of 26 degrees and 28.2 arc minutes. This is our observed altitude, commonly known by the abbreviation HO. This concludes Section 1 of the Site Reduction Form. To test your understanding of what we covered in this video, click this link. It'll take you to a few questions designed to help you remember these concepts. Once you are comfortable with this material, you can move to our next video, Section 2, by clicking on this link. Oh, man of war, cried we. Oh, so said we. Oh, no, I'm not a pirate, but a man of war, cried he.